Hi, my name is Kelly Hallinan. I'm at the Hudson House in Nyack, New York, reporting at Blankfest, a charity event that's been happening for the past 20 years. From 12 noon to midnight, performers come and the admission is a blanket. On Christmas Eve, people will go around New York City and donate the blankets to the less fortunate as a Christmas present. Let's hop on into the concert. Joe Durso, a performer here at Blankfest. So how long have you been performing here? Uh, well, this is the 20th year of Blankfest, and I think I've done almost all 20 years. There was one or two years when I was on tour in Europe that I missed, but I was here for the first one, I'm here for the 20th. How did you first get involved with this? Oh, there's a devilish man by the name of Ken Rowell who hooked me in. Uh, Ken and I went to high school together, Albertus Magnus. He started this, and uh, he's been in a punk band called the Baghdadios for many years, and I had my band, Stone Caravan. But he called me up and said, hey, I'm gonna do this thing in Nyack. I said, sure. Um, what's your favorite part about this whole event? The fact that you can't pay to get in, that you have to bring a blanket mm -hmm. or some warm clothing or a comforter. Uh, when I tell people about that or people write to me on my website from different countries, they said, is that really true? A mission is a blanket? And I said, yeah, because then they give it out to the homeless in New York. And I think it's the coolest thing, yeah. as do I. Mm -hmm. How do you help promote this event and make it such a success? Well, we put it on uh, uh, Facebook and our website. Um, Ken does the same and then social media and then people knowing about it for 20 years uh, by the end of the night and I usually play in the evening I played this year in the afternoon by the end of the night sometimes there's thousands of blankets you know it's pretty incredible are you planning on doing this again next year I think I'm gonna do that until Ken uh, gets rid of homelessness in New York yeah, yeah. thanks so much for talking You're welcome. <laughs> I'm now here with Ken Rowell the founder of this event so what's your favorite part about this event oh geez um, <laughs> Every aspect from start to finish. It's always a lot of fun. So how did you get to hosting this? Um, pretty much just I came up with it my own my own self. So, you know, you make up a concert, you get to host it. <laughs> and how do you decide who delivers where in New York City for the blankets? Uh, usually that's a free-for-all, although I always say, listen, we fill my car up first and everything else basically uh, emanates from there. How do you promote this event and get people to come? Oh, uh, um, many ways actually. I mean, originally the first Blank Fest happened in pretty much a, uh, a vacuum. Uh, we tried to get it into the papers, but it was just too short notice. We made up a few flyers, handed it out to some friends, and that's why we got 40 blankets the first year, which for a startup event's not half bad, and it was only three and a half hours. Then we started expanding, and as the show expanded, the press began to cover us a little bit more, including uh, the Nyack Rivertown, or, or the Rivertown Press, which is been uh, immeasurable in its in its help to us, and uh, the the Rockland County Journal News has been pretty big, and then uh, other radio stations from around here, uh, Cable 12 has covered us, uh, then CBS uh, AM. Uh, picked up on us and started uh, doing like little uh, one-minute vignettes. Oh, geez. Um, and then the Daily News covered us. And so from that point, it just seemed to blossom from there. Mm -hmm. Do you plan on hosting this event again next year? Oh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, because we would love to be able to turn around and say, okay, problem solved. We don't need any more sh shows for the homeless. But... You know, it seems to be uh, more of an issue now than ever before. Um, everywhere you go, there's more and more homeless. Um, I, I don't know what the answer is, and I never thought getting a blanket for the homeless would be an answer. But at the very least, it's a Band-Aid. It's, it's a loving Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. And so we'll just keep doing it until they don't need us anymore. And how many blankets do you normally get? Oh, that depends. Uh, like, like I said, first year it was only 40. Then next year was 70, and it just started going up exponentially from there. Uh, we've gotten uh, over 800 at this venue alone. That's great. Thank you so much, and congrats to you for hosting this. It's Absolutely. great. <laughs> I'm here with a performer here at Blankfest, Tim O'Donoghue. So is this your first time performing here? I've actually been on the Blankfest build. This is probably the 14th time I've oh, performed wow. here, mm -hmm. and uh, really grateful to Ken Rowell for running this. This is the most organic, homegrown charity I know of. I mean, 20 years ago, he started with couple guys getting some blankets and playing some music and they go out on Christmas Eve and hand them out to homeless people. Don't get any better than that. Are you going to help deliver the blankets on Christmas Eve? That is not a skill that I want to possess. No, I don't, I'm not one of the elves. And how did you hear about this event? I guess probably, I probably joined it year six or so. 
I heard it through mutual friends that this was going on, and I got a hold of Ken, and I said, you know, if you ever need somebody, and you know, this is, I guess, 14 years ago, I had just kind of started performing out again. I hadn't done it in many, many years, so this Blank Fest was one of the first public gigs I did again. Very nice. Thanks for talking. Thank you very much. <laughs> What a great event. I'm so happy I could be a part of it this year and donate some blankets and watch the great performances. Now back to the studio.